I want to make a customized pattern from an already saved pattern. Well, that's where the Save As feature comes in. So I'm going to drag this tree pattern over. I press the F7 to get to my nodes. And let's say I pull this node over here and over here. And I like this pattern now and I want to save it. Well, I can't save it as the same name or it'll overwrite my other pattern. So we come up here to File, Save Pattern As, and it brings up my pattern dialog box. You can see that this pattern has a pattern parent associated with it. That just means that I didn't originally create this design and it gives credit to the designer who did, which as you can see under the designer notes, it is by Todd Brown. Well, okay, so I understand that it's a pattern parent and you know I'm not gonna get credit for the whole pattern, but I wanna save it as a name because I wanna use it the way I've, I've drawn it. So I'm gonna come up here and say tree border moved. Now, under the Save Pattern 2, I can have it under the database, the project, or just a file. So like if I just want to use it in this project and I'm not going to use it again or whatever, then just click Project, but I'll just leave it as is for this example. Next, you want to also choose a pattern type. Like right now it says it's a border, but I can choose edge to edge, block, whatever it is that I want it to be. I can add a keyword. So I can add a tag to it, and let's say long tree, and then press my little plus sign. Now I can put it in a collection if I want. I mean, you can do all kinds of things however you want to make it original to you. I can also add encryption and make it copyrighted where it will only stitch on my stitcher. So once you have everything the way you want it to be, then you come down here and say save and close. Now if you look, it is under my patterns and I can choose it next time. That's how easy it is to use Save Pattern As.